uncut. All right. So I was in CVS and I saw this Harry's razor. It looked like it was new and it said ink chrome. And I've never seen this. So I picked it up. I am a sucker for marketing. And I'm a sucker for Harry. So I figured this would be the next uncut video I would do. All right, so uncut, no editing, just a shave and a guy yapping. Yeah, it looks like the Winston chrome handle. They do this in the shaving industry. You're always releasing new product, new names, new colors to get, you know, people to buy more stuff. It's classic marketing 101. But the Harry's brand is so cool and so awesome. Let's do it. Now, this kit comes with the Winston handle, the chrome handle, or the ink handle, which is very nice. It's it's weighty. It's got a beautiful chrome accent here or, or made out of, I think it's zinc, but it looks like chrome. Or maybe it's chrome. I don't know. Somebody tell me. Little rubber here, rubber grips on the back end and a rubber grip here which is nice. What I love about Harry's is I call it the closest cartridge to a safety razor feel. And what I mean by that, guys, is that these blades suffer no fool with bad technique. They're very sharp. They're very precise. But you can, you can get into some trouble especially on an against grain pass, if you were to try that. But I love a, f a few things. I love this organic pivot. So these two rubber straps here, it's not a mechanical pivot. It's a, what I consider an organic pivot. There's a precision trimmer on the back, which I don't use much because look how slight that, that head is. The form factor is such that you can get up into the nooks and crannies and you don't really need to go with that unprotected precision tr uh, trimmer much. You've got the loop strip and the rubber guide like most cartridges. This just has, this just has a, a more out there kind of face against the blade feel, more aggressive takes a little bit more time, takes a little bit more technique, but it provides a wonderful shave. In this kit, you get this fancy little cartridge holder. And wow, look at that. Four extra cartridges, which is nice. All right. Always look for the kits. I hope you save a little bit of kit. <laughs> all right, let's get right into the shave. I was going to try to, to make this uh, an all Harry's shave, but I couldn't find the Harry's gel. So I'm going to go to my new favorite, and I'm going to do a lather, lather shave. But I'm going to finish it up with the Harry's post-shave mist, because it's, this is just a standout. It's just so nice, so refreshing. So Elysian, pine and pepper, married with Harry's post-shave mist with florals or botanicals. I'll get my fancy Pacific shaving brush, natural cork handled brush, go with a little bit of warm water. I'm gonna make this a quick shave. Oh, the pine and pepper smells so good. And as I've mentioned before, if you've seen videos where I've used this soap, they use an oversized tub. They give you four ounces, but it's oversized, which I like because it kind of dubs as your little shaving bowl. You go right in there. Now this is a very forgiving soap on multiple fronts. You don't need a lot of water to get it lathering, get it going. I'm going to go right onto the face. 
so it lathers up nice and easy. You see it's a little, a little dry yet, but I'll add some water to the mix and get a nice lather going. Oh, this is a wonderful smell. If you haven't already, check out Elysian Soap Shop and let Shannon and her team know that the average guy sent you. Check them out. They're a small company. It's like the American dream, right? Kind of launched right in the heart of COVID. A bright entrepreneur had an idea and she followed it up. A lot of hard work, small business. One day, probably a huge business. And we can say we, we've been using them since you know, near day one. Get over to Elysian Soap Shop and check these luxurious soaps out. All right. Enough about the products. Let's just get into a shave here. And, you know, maybe I'll take it easy today on the dialogue. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at that. I'll dial back a little bit on the dialogue. Oh uh, yeah. So, I've had this beard on for maybe a, a little over a week. And this razor is just slamming through it. And what I like about Harry's, pretty much a simple rinse. There's a few hairs left, but a simple rinse gets most of those hairs. So it's not a cloggy razor, even on this longer stubble. And I've given you the hack before to get those stray hairs, use your thumb with the blades and just pull down. Oh. So a little bit of pressure against the blades this way, not that way you cut yourself, right? All right. stubble. Again, the, the hack, thumb this way, press down, and that'll release those stubborn hairs that want to hang around. I find that this is the best cartridge razor to use on long stubble because these blades are super sharp. Because of the organic pivot. And just the way this is designed, it's sort of like a Mach 3 design. Look at that. Gillette Mach 3 with five blades. And you hear the feedback. All right. Springtime in New York, the allergies are on top of me.
first pass in the books with Harry's. I'm gonna opt to do two passes today. So we'll add a little bit more near hot water. We'll go back to our beautiful brush here. And we'll add a little bit more of this wonderful soap. Ah, look at that, guys. And there's plenty more in the head left for two, three more passes. Again, it takes or lathers really well, really easily. Provides really good support or a protection of a barrier of comfort. I'll do a cross grain pass. Oh, very nice. So there's nice substance to this. It feels like a quality product. It's not plastic like a lot of cartridge razors tend to have a lot of plastic bits. The chrome is is really nice, luxurious. And the heft helps. The heft helps you remember proper technique because you need it with Harry's. Proper technique, light touch, glide across the skin. You're not digging, you're shaving. You're letting the device go to the areas it needs to go to. Imagine you're in a four by four going over a rocky terrain. You're gonna follow the terrain and you're not gonna try to force it. You know, let the razor go where it needs to go. And also for new shavers or old shavers, the concept of you're never gonna get it perfect. You're never gonna get all of the hair. There's no need to even try to be perfect. Have a relaxing shave, hit the spots. You need to hit, let it fly, but more passes means more irritation. <clears throat> more chances to get nicked up. Now for right under the nooks and crannies here today for whatever reason. I need to use that precision trimmer. You can use the precision trimmer up here on your sideburns to square those off. I need to get to my barber soon to neaten things up, but there you go. And that's a nice, easy, relaxing two pass shave. Next step, rinse off with cool water and we'll apply the after shave. I like to use a, a hand towel or a face cloth. So I don't make a mess in the bathroom but also it's better on camera than multiple dips down to the sink where you have to see my bald head. <laughs> I'm sure you are thanking me for that one. Uh, get all that <clears throat> lather away and we'll finish it up with, like I said, this Harry's Post Shave Mist. It's a wonderful, wonderful aftershave. So basically, 
a couple of sprays. Oh yeah. And I never spray it in the right direction. But it's got a botanical kind of a floral smell on the the masculine side of the equation. You're certainly not going in like a bouquet of flowers. It has a nice feel to it. Hits the skin, tacky, dries almost instantly, and you have a nice shave. Done. Uncut. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this shaving review uncut. Let me know what you think of the format. And I will see you guys next time. Hopefully in a in an edited version soon. But these uncuts are easy to do. I've got to shave anyway. So, alright. Let me stop talking. I'll see you clowns next time.